Our offering this morning is for the food bank. Um, Though uh, it has been indeed a a year in which um, people of Athens and the surrounding area have been uh, exceedingly generous, and though the food bank is doing well, there are still significant needs, uh, especially around Christmas. Um, There is often a um, a surge of giving in the in the weeks leading up to Christmas and that is wonderful but there is also often a time after Christmas and New Year's where uh, donations tend to drop off and so uh, the food bank needs to sort of make it through not only the Christmas holiday season but also make it through the time afterwards often Um, with a little dip in giving. Uh, In addition to that, uh, we love to be able to give uh, in a little extra way to families um, and individuals around Christmas. And so would encourage you very much to uh, prayerfully and cheerfully give to this cause. Also, as we come to congregational prayer, uh, we're obviously going to pray for Frank and we're going to pray for his family as well. Uh, we're also very pleased that Alan, uh, Alan is here and he is doing well. His recovery from his cataract surgery is going well. <coughs> I overheard him saying to Raven that uh, things seem to be brighter, and uh, that is good and wonderful. Um, We also want to celebrate, though Hank Bowers is not here with us this morning, he is with family, and it is his birthday today, so uh, we want to celebrate with him as well. Uh, We want to also continue to pray for Oliver, um, things continue to go well with Oliver. Okay, so that is good news. Working on an exit plan is excellent. We yes. Wonderful. Yeah. So you may remember, uh, a, yeah, a number of years ago when Miles was born, we had. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Anyways, yes, this spring, sorry, confusing. Uh, Miles uh, also, uh, he was, we had significant concerns for him, uh, but he is now being taken off of one of his heart meds, um, and so he'll be down to one. And that is good to forgive my. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're kind and gracious. Um, but you kind of have to be, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is wonderful as well. And then um, with regards to Belinda and John, uh, their little one is also doing well. Adrian is doing well. Um, he is not home yet, um, but Belinda is, um, and uh, John and her are able to uh, sort of take turns visiting and so on. So uh, we continue to pray for Adrian as well, but things continue to progress there uh, too. Um, those are, I believe, all the, uh, the new pastoral updates that uh, I need to give you at this time. So let us come to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for the work of the Athens Food Bank and how for so many years they have been contributing uh, to the lives in, in in this area in such a critical way. Lord, we thank you so much for the many volunteers who participate in that. We thank you also for the perseverance of those volunteers in the face of COVID and restrictions that have been imposed uh, for the good of the larger community, uh, but which do make things uh, more difficult in some ways. We thank you also for the ongoing generosity of the community as they give to the Athens and area food bank. Lord, thank you so much for that. And Lord, we pray that today as we provide our offerings um, to the food bank, that they would be a pleasing aroma to you and that they would enable the food bank uh, together with the donations received from other areas uh, to provide not only uh, the food that many families and individuals need, but also 
uh, to provide just that one more step in, uh, in a wonderful Christmas for many families who uh, struggle in other areas. Father, we pray very much this morning for Frank. Uh, we ask that you would continue to be with him, comfort him, and strengthen him. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will be with his family, be particularly with Dorothy, but also with all of the children and grandchildren as well. Father, would you help them to um, yeah, be able to spend time visiting with Frank um, where, wherever that is uh, able to happen. And Lord, we pray that you will also um, just be a very clear presence for them as a family. Lord, we pray, too, that you will be with all in our congregation who struggle with illness, whether it be cancer or COPD or depression or anxiety or uh, what, whatever it is that people are struggling with, oh God, please be with them. Lord, this morning we think uh, especially of little Oliver, we thank you so much that he is continuing to do well and that they are now planning an exit plan. Uh, Lord, uh, it would be so wonderful if indeed he was able to come home for Christmas and be with his parents. Lord, we pray as well for Miles. We thank you so much for him and for the fact that he is able to come off of one of his heart medications Father, we pray that you will, uh, you will bless him in that transition, that you will be with Michelle and that you will be with Alex and Julie as well as, uh, as they care for uh, this little fellow. Lord, we pray too that you will continue to be with Adrian and with John and Belinda. We thank you so much that again, uh, good progress is being made there. We ask that you will um, be with John and Belinda, particularly as they no doubt cannot be with Adrian as much as they would like to be. Father, we pray that uh, you will encourage and strengthen them. Father, we pray also that you will be with Hank uh, Bowers. Lord, we thank you so much for his birthday. We ask that you will bless him and encourage and strengthen him. Thank you that he can be with family this morning. And Lord, we pray for all of those in our congregation who uh, are not able to get out and about as much as they might like these days. In a way, oh God, that is everybody. All of us would like to um, get out and about more but particularly there are those among us who face um, particular vulnerabilities. And so, Lord, we pray for them as well. Father, we pray too that you would open our hearts and minds as we hear uh, from your scriptures the message that you have for us today. May you bless us so that we may live lives of faith, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.